In this tutorial, I'll be walking through the conversation aspect of Snatchbot in more detail, the things that you can communicate to your users through your chatbot. So to get started, select My Bots from the left-hand menu and then the chatbot that you wish to edit. In this case, the interaction chatbot. Now first, within an interaction, the very most straightforward thing that you can put as an output is simple text message. In this case, simple text message, which you do simply by writing in on the bot message. Now, if you open up the test, you can see that here. Now, there are a few other things that you can do, particularly with embedding media. When you select embed media, there are a few different things that you can embed. I'll show you how. First is a link, second, an image, third, audio, and fourth and finally, video. So let's start the clear slate and embedding a link. In this case, you'll simply go to the URL equals, let's say, Google. And you type in the URL. And then what you can also do is give it the label, which is the words that would appear in the conversation. So as you can see, now that we go back down and we have a link, as you can see, as it's blue, hypertext and comes up when I hover over it and says Google like the label. Now, the next embed is an image. So for sample, let's open this Snatchbot image, grab this URL, and then say select. And here, all you have to do is drop in that URL. And then there we go. And the conversation is the image. Next, let's embed some audio. So here I have saved a link to an audio file, remove the placeholder for it, add it in. And as you can see, the audio file is prepped in the conversation. And last but not least, we'll do the same for video. In this case, I have another video URL. And once again, we'll simply paste that over the label and now we'll begin pulling in a YouTube video. And that's how easy it is to do with rich media. Now, the other thing that can be very valuable is through the creation of cards using a variety of different buttons. So for this case, I'll show you text. Now here we can add in test description. And then the main thing we want to look at is the add button aspect here. Once you select add button, you're with five options to add a block, to add a URL, to add a phone call, payment options, and finally email. Now the first one is going to be simple. And then we decide basically once this button is clicked, where it will lead to in the conversation. And let's just say for reference, we want a sample to lead to email extraction. It would lead to that block. Alternatively, you can also add a button that links to our URL. For example, if you wanted to link someone to your website or to a specific product, you would simply write the button name. Once again, the URL. And then what you can also control, especially if it's going to be going into Facebook Messenger, is how it will display when it's clicked, this new window. You can choose for it to take up 100% of the window, 70% of the window, or just 40% of the window. And which one you choose is really going to depend on the size of the image or whatever information that you're leading the user to. Finally, next you have phone call, which allows you to set both the button name once again, and then the phone number here that you would add. Now with this, users can click it and immediately begin a call to that specified number. Next, you have payment, which is one of the more powerful buttons. So you can see it allows you to name it, add a product name, a price, a currency, and do a lot of things that you need to do in order to process payments, which is extremely valuable in a messaging platform. And finally, 
you can add an e you can add a button with an email address contained in it that will allow you to send emails to that address quite simply. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Hope you learned lots about the different ways that you can communicate with users through conversations in a ch chatbot built in Snatchbot.